going to see these guys. They've got a new one called Like a Kennedy that's a little more poppy, but it starts off with a recording of the radio broadcast of JFK's assassination, LMAO, where they pin it on a guy with poor eyesight shooting a late 1800s bolt action rifle from a bookstore window as the car is moving along at 10 to 15 miles an hour and miraculously can make his bullets fly from his angle up from behind as well as two other angles at the front of the motorcade and then coincidentally gets a shot before taking uh, to the press hours later by a guy with a mob, dies who coincidentally also had cancer and dies before the second trial. Hmm, interesting. It's just a frickin' song. Thanks, I don't want to show anything with you anymore. Gee, you wonder frickin' why. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another video for the day. We're going back in the r slash insane parents, because the good old glads it goes. If you don't got some, you know that somebody does. If you guys would like to be absolutely amazing, show your support, and see more videos like this one in the near future, be sure to hit that like button, leave a comment down below to start up the Molson Internet discussions, and if you guys have not already, subscribe to the channel and turn on the notifications. Mm, yeah, I don't know. Maybe it's a trash, a bill? Yeah, I don't know. I'm at work right now. Is it blank? Yes, blank. Can you send it to blank, mom. You couldn't text Happy Mother's Day, but you want me to send a physical mail from an alternate address? Forget I mentioned it. If this is how petty you get just for not getting a Happy Mother's Day first thing in the morning, I feel like you don't deserve it. Hey, I'm sorry if these messages are getting annoying. I just haven't heard from you in a minute, and I want to make sure you're okay. I would text blank, but you know, he never answers. LOL. I'm fine. I've been busy. Oh, Okay, I just had a feeling you were mad at me for something. I'm not mad, I just tired, and I realize that I don't want to put effort in when I'm not appreciated. I'm not going to prioritize you when I should be prioritizing myself. I have other things to worry about. Alright, now don't you just love it when somebody says, Ah, yeah, I'm not mad at you, but you know for a fact you freaking can tell. If you can see the backhand from anything coming from a mile away and you duck in advance, that's just unfortunately how everything has to go now. Hi, Dad. Last Christmas, you really upset me and you hurt me. You had to go at me for not being in contact when I was extremely unwell. I'm still unwell and lots of medication and undergoing ongoing medical investigation. I didn't have the physical, mental, or emotional energy to be engaging with someone who didn't understand that. In February, I had to leave my course in order to take care of my health, and that was my first priority. My first priority is still my health, with my degree coming in a close second as I am now redoing my second year. I am still upset and hurt by the way you treated me last Christmas, but I wanted to extend an invitation and an olive branch for you, this person, and the girls to come and see what I'm working on at the moment. I'm making costumes for the pantomime jack and the beanstalk in this place, and I'd really like for you to come and see what I'm doing with my life now. The information is all here. Hello, Blank. Thank you for getting in contact. Good thing to hear that you are working on the Xmas Panto, but I won't be coming to the performance. Before anything like that happens, just you and I need to sit down and talk somewhere neutral. You also need to start taking responsibility for your actions. If you would like to do that in London, Bristol, or somewhere in between, let me know and we can sort something out. A dead. You know, I kind of think of somebody who has uh, not really talked to you in a little bit, reaches out saying, hey, I'd like to talk to you. I don't think you're really the one to dictate the terms of which they talk to you, because, you know, it's not like they had to psychologically psych themselves up before they even uh, talked to you in the first place. I don't think the 100 is enough until next week. Next time, don't go to your therapy if you don't have enough. How about if I don't have enough money too? You've been in therapy for 1.15 years already. Are you not getting well yet? Yeah, I'm getting better, but you're making it worse. I'm giving you back the hundred dollars. I, I don't want your help. Yeah, it does kind of suck that when you're talking to somebody, trying to talk about your therapy sessions and all, and, and then it kind of sucks that the person you're talking to happens to be one of the reasons you're in therapy. Therapy is no 
quick fix. You can't have severe depression, go to a therapist, and then a month and a half later, you're perfectly fine. I'm just glad that mine is covered on my health insurance. Other than that, if you gotta pay out of pocket for therapists, the uh, bills can really add up. I get the point, people. They want you to keep doing this, because eventually they are going to try and make you do this. Ah yes, because one is a religion, and the other one is just a medical mandate. It's totally, completely visible about how you can see all of these similarities, uh huh? Look here, Dingus, I, I know for a fact you're gonna say that you used a decent amount of brain cells to come up with this, but I'm fairly certain the number you guessed versus the actual number is, uh, is off by a lot. Very proud of my daughter graduating from WVU at the top of a class as an accountant. I may be exaggerating a little, maybe a lot, uh, by saying the top. Hey, look, your kid's graduating. You should be happy for that. Lo and behold, if you're the person that gets upset because your kid does not get the high score in the uh, long-term memory course, which pretty much is just how I see any form of school at this point, uh, then you know what? You very much should have should have just not come to the whole thing. You shouldn't have come to the graduation, whatever, because it's not like this took a very long time in order to happen, and you know, it's kind of a special thing, uh, you know, except the fact that it very much is. Brain of a human. Yes, that is an appropriate size for a human. Brain of a cat. Yes, uh, I mean, let's be honest, some cats have done some stupid shit. Brain of a rat! Okay, but we still love them, though. Brain of a parent that thinks that no privacy until 18 is a good idea. Yeah, like I've stated in the past before, if you keep a kid from getting privacy until they're 18, they're gonna take as much privacy as they can after 18, and you're not gonna see them for a while. What I wanna see that would be one hell of a stretch is a parent trying to do the whole you have no privacy, my house, my rules thing, except they're not even at their house. But yeah, I know it sounds ridiculous, but you know there's gotta be at least one case of dumb stuff like that happening. I stress every night that my eight-year-old daughter can't even read yet. Uh, she still takes a long time to read three-letter words. I do both homeschool and unschooling, if that makes sense. <laughs> LOL. My worries get to me every night. Look, if your daughter can't read yet and you're homeschooling her, I think that's more of a you problem. Also, what in the absolute heck is unschooling? You're teaching them to unlearn stuff? I, I am so confused on this. I said hire a nurse. You should and need to. I am your dad. I have worked all of my life. I am now 67 and probably won't have the retirement we have been planning. Won't get to do what he dreamed about. I am hopeful, but mom's cancer is a factor and I may be alone. I have you attacking me on a regular basis, ripping my heart out. I lost my son-in-law. I lost my son a long time ago, but went through the whole almost losing him process. I went to work today telling you I love you and I get hate back. Again, hire a nurse. I am trying to cope and to dream of love and support from you and don't deserve the name calling, threats, spewing, no one does. I sacrificed housing and a career for the past year helping you. That isn't support? I can't afford nursing. I can't say that again. You are still young and have not lost anything. Helping and loving your parents is not a sacrifice. It is a biblical directive. It is a sacrifice. I have lost. How dare you say I have not sacrificed? Thou shalt go our, your mother and father. You twisting it to fit your narrative isn't going to work. You don't own me. You can pick up a career anytime at 28 years old. <laughs> Oh, you are so wrong. Maybe it worked that way in the 60s, but uh, this ain't the 60s, my man. Nothing you say will work for me. I will pick up a career when I want to. Yeah, look, your kid's taking care of you? Yeah, that's a nice thing to do, but it is an obligation? Very much not. You might have been able to legally been a control freak for the first 18 years of their life, but the second that 18 year rolls around, you're gonna realize all that stuff's gonna come back to bite you. Happy, happy birthday, my daughter. May God bless bless you with many, many more birthdays in good health, peace, prosperity, and tranquility. I will call you tomorrow. I just saw it after midnight there, and I decided to uh, advance with a written message. May God bless you abundantly. I love you. Thanks. I have multiple calls on my work phone and a voicemail. Did something happen? Can you call me, please? I want to know it's you. I've been trying to get in touch since early this morning. Oh, you mean like... 
midnight and your phone has been off? That never happened before. I just want to hear your voice or send a voice message. It's your birthday and I haven't been able to connect with you. Don't you think that can be worrisome? I'm in a meeting. I, I was awake all night because the dog had diarrhea. It's 9 a.m. Sending somebody a birthday message at midnight so that you get the first birthday message in. Yeah, that's just a thing people normally do. But what people don't normally do is get upset when they don't respond. Here's the thing. Person midnight. Phone's off. Phone's on do not disturb. Don't think for a single second you can send a message at midnight and they're going to reply at the exact same speed as if you messaged them at 1 p.m. Because, like, for myself, I have auto do not disturb enabled from the hours of 10 p.m. to 7 a.m. Because I don't want anybody waking me up unless I specifically have you listed as a person that can override do not disturb. It really is weird that if people message other people at some obscure hour, they still get pissy when they don't get back to you. Okay, maybe pissy wasn't the right word for this scenario, but like, don't be surprised if they don't get back to you right away. That's the thing. But with that, that is going to have to be it with the video. If you guys would love to be absolutely amazing, show your support, and see more videos like this one in the near future, be sure to hit that like button, leave a comment down below to start up the wholesome internet discussions, and if you guys have not already subscribed to the channel and turn on the notifications i'll be sure to see you guys in the next one thank you so much for watching and bye bye